Good morning, everyone. I trust that we are all doing well by God's grace. Welcome to the continuation of our series on the things God hates. Personally, I've picked up some lessons over these few days, and I hope you have too. Okay, so our main scripture for this week's study has been Proverbs 6, 16 to 19. And today our focus will be on the verse 18, which talks about feet that run swiftly to evil. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 18. I'll read from the Amplified Version. Okay, so let me read the whole of the scripture that we've been using for this week's study. So verse 16, it says, This six things the Lord hates. Indeed, seven are repulsive to him. A proud look, the attitude that makes one overestimate oneself and discount others, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood. 18. A heart that creates wicked plans, feet that run swiftly to evil. A false witness who breathes out lies, even half-truths, and one who spreads discord, rumors among brothers. Amen. So like I said, we are focusing on the verse 18, the part that talks about feet that run swiftly to evil. So then what is evil? We all know what the feet are, right? But then what is evil? Is evil just... Um, the name that we use for in quote hardcore sins okay so I googled the definition of evil and one of the definitions that came up was that evil is something that is embodying or that is associated with the forces of the devil what does this mean basically it's that If something is not from God and is not associated with God and it doesn't please him, then it's evil. Amen. So then let's, um, what does the Bible describe as evil? Based on this definition that if it's not from God, if it's not of the spirit of God, if it doesn't please him, then it's evil. Let's open our Bibles to Galatians chapter 5. So we did Galatians chapter 5 um, a week ago with our focus on the fruit of the Spirit. But before the fruit of the Spirit, the Bible talks about the works of the flesh in the verse 19 to 21. And so that's what our focus is going to be on, even as we talk about feet that run swiftly to evil. I'll be reading from verse 19. The behavior of the self-life is obvious. The self-life. Self-life clearly means that it's of you and it's not of God. And we've already established the fact that if it is not from God, then it is evil. So the behavior of the self-life is obvious. Sexual immorality, lustful thoughts, pornography, chasing after things instead of God, manipulating others, hatred of those who get in your way, senseless arguments, resentment when others are favored, temper tantrums, angry quarrels, only thinking of yourself, being in love with your own opinions, being envious of the blessings of others, murder, uncontrolled addictions, wild parties, and all other similar behavior. Haven't I already warned you that those who use their freedom in court for these things will not inherit the kingdom realm of God. Amen.
So this is it. This is what the Bible talks about. Or some of the things that the Bible talks about when it talks about evil. Right. It says, your feet are swift to run to sexual immorality. Your feet are swift to run to that ex. Your feet are swift to run to that that guy, that girl. The moment you start feeling like you want to have sex, your feet are so quick to run to sexual immorality. Your feet are quick to lustful thoughts, the things that run through your mind. When there's pornography available, like Charlie, you are people's plug for pornography. When the Bible says your feet are swift to run to evil, that's what it means. Like you are quick to do, do to do the things that displease God. You are quick to do the things that are anti-God. You are quick to chase after things instead of God. Like rather than spend time to press in into God, to spend time to study our our Bibles, we would rather spend more time on Netflix, spend more time on Instagram, spend more time on Snapchat, on TikTok, doing all sorts of things. The Bible talks about manipulating others, hatred of those who get in your way, senseless arguments, Wherever there's an argument, wherever there's an issue, wherever there's arguments that don't lead anywhere, you are there, front and center. Even if you are not the one that is starting the argument, you are the first to appear on the scene so that you can go and report on it. Resentment when others are favored. In your workplace, when you hear that someone has been promoted, you are the first to start the conversation of, how you've always known that this person was sleeping with the boss, or how you've always known that this person didn't get it by merit, that is because the person's mother knows this person. And so that's how come the person got the promotion that the person got. Feet that are quick to run to evil. Evil is not just murder. Evil is not just stealing. These things are evil. And if you are quick to be found in such places, if you are quick to be found doing such things, then today the Bible is telling us that these are things that God hates. Temper tantrums, angry quarrels. Like, you are are always the first to get upset about something. Always, always, always. You only think of yourself. You 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 are in love with your own opinions. You are envious of the blessings of others. Murder. Murder. Two days ago, we learned from Dr. Pachi that murder is not only about taking a knife and literally killing someone. But even when you hate your brother, you are guilty of murder. Uncontrolled addictions. Uncontrolled addictions. I don't know the things that you are addicted to. I don't know the things that you are addicted to. You may say that maybe you are not addicted to drugs, but what are the other things that you are addicted to? Your phone, your phone, uncontrolled addictions. The first thing you do when you wake up is to pick up your phone and check what you missed on WhatsApp statuses and check what you missed, any messages that you missed. Check what went on on Twitter that you were not aware of whilst you were sleeping. Check the latest news, the trending thing on Instagram. You will just mumble some, thank you, O Lord, for this day. In Jesus' name, amen. Then straight, uncontrolled addictions. Can you put your phone aside? Can your feet not be swift to run to that evil? Because the truth is that social media, like, social media is good. Social media has its advantages. Social media can be fun. But social media is also the breeding ground of a lot of, evil things that go on in this world wild parties 
and all other similar behavior. All other similar behavior. What are some of these similar behaviors? While I was pondering over these things, the Holy Spirit was just giving me examples of some of the things that we are quick to do. And even me, I was shocked. The first example he gave me that we are quick to jump in on the latest social media challenges, all in the name of fun. Where does your feet quickly lead you to? What does your feet quickly lead you to? Where does it quickly lead you to? Anytime there's any latest social media challenge, you are there with the song, with the dance. You are there to record your part and drop it on IG like it's hot. You are there, feet that run swiftly to evil. Wherever there's gist, there, we, are, we have to find you there. Wherever there's, we have to find you there. Even if it's not to contribute, it's to collect the information to go and share. To collect the information and go and share. Share the good news abroad in the hearts of people. Feats that are quick to run to evil. One thing I noticed recently, so when the Holy Spirit mentioned it to me, I understood it because I've been in that position, you know, where I wanted to create a reel on Instagram for to promote something. And, you know, you read on all these things about how to use the reels on Instagram and you are told that um, use the trending song on the reels, you know, and then it's going to push your reels like across to a lot of people and all of that because that's the trending sound on the reels at that time. And you look at the music and it's secular music and it has maybe profane language or maybe the, just the parts that is even being used for the reel may not contain that profane language, but the rest of the song contains like very bad language. But we are quick to use it so that we look like we are in. We are quick to use it so that our businesses can grow. But at what cost? At what cost? Feet that run swiftly to evil. Whenever a man of God is put up on social media and they start bashing the man of God. You are one of the first people to appear on the comments page. One of the first people to appear on the comments page. Sometimes because you don't want your pastor to see, you may not type it out outrightly, but you you type some hmm, some very sarcastic hmm. You are quick to, to ask all these questions. We shouldn't say it. Touch not my anointed. Do my prophet no harm. You are quick to be, be in places where men of God are being slandered, where servants of God are being slandered. Do you know whether the, the message that the man of God preached, do you know whether the media picked out the parts that will suit them, the parts that will give them clickbait. Do you know, even whatever it is, that whatever the man of God was sharing, do you know whether he received it as a revelation from God? You don't know. But since you are the assistant Holy Spirit, you will jump in and begin to join others to slander the men of God. Feet that are swift to run to evil. You are quick to spread things that others have said to you in confidence. Your alias is, have you heard? That's your alias, have you heard? Anytime you meet someone, your first greeting is, have you heard? So now when things even happen and people have not heard the news, people are like, oh, let's wait for this person. I believe that this person has all the gist. And truly, you are the one who has the gist. Feet that are, are swift to run to evil. Sometimes you may not be the one spreading it. But we can always count on you to be present. To listen and to add your contribution. Feet 
that run swiftly to evil. Each and every one of us finds ourselves in one or more of these categories. How many times have you chased after things instead of God? How many times have you gotten involved in angry quarrels? How many times have you participated in senseless arguments? Even the Bible talks about it, not to engage in, in senseless arguments. How many times have you, have you resented others because they were favored over you and you thought that you deserved it? If you deserve it, why, why did, don't they deserve it as well? Feet that run swiftly to evil. Your feet may not run swiftly to kill. Your feet may not run swiftly to steal. But what are your feet running swiftly to? What things are they running swiftly to that are not of God? What things are they running swiftly to that do not please God? Let your feet run away from sexual immorality. The Bible says flee, flee, flee. It says abstain from every kind of evil. Every kind of evil. So far as it doesn't look like it's from God. Run away from it. Don't run to it. Because when you run to it, then you know that, that those are the things. It's one of the things that God hates. Don't let your feet lead you to 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 evil so the question now is how do we get our feet on the right track how do we get our feet not to run to evil but to run from it let's read galatians 5 verse 16 it says but i say walk habitually in the holy spirit seek him and be responsive to his guidance. And then you will certainly not carry out the desire of the sinful nature, which responds impulsively without regard for God and his precepts. Walk habitually in the Holy Spirit. Seek him and be responsive to his guidance. And then you will certainly not carry out the desire of the sinful nature. The sinful nature is the evil nature. The sinful nature is not of God. And look at the description it gives. It said the sinful nature which responds impulsively without regard for God and his precepts. It is with our feet that we walk. And so this is how you move from running swiftly to evil. You walk habitually in the spirit and be responsive to his guidance. How else do you move your feet from running swiftly to evil? It's through the word of God. The study of the word of God. Psalm 119 verse 105, it's a common scripture. I say, your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Ephesians 5 verse, sorry, Ephesians 6 verse 15, where we talk about the armor of God. The verse 15 says, and having strapped on your feet the gospel of peace in preparation to face the enemy with firm-footed stability, and the readiness produced by the good news. Strapped on your feet the gospel of peace. What's the gospel of peace? The word of God. And Psalm 119 says that your word is a lamp unto my feet. The word of God shines light onto your feet. It lights your path and, and it shows you, it makes things clear. It shows you as a child of God. Which kind of paths you should walk in. The word of God will show you that it's better to walk in the narrow path than to walk in the broad path. Because as a Christian, everything does not go. If everything goes, then your feet are swiftly running to evil. A month ago, we were talking about consecration. Everything doesn't go because you are set apart as a holy people. 
unto God. So everything doesn't go. When you allow the word of God to dwell in you, and you allow yourself to walk habitually in the spirit and allow him to use the word of God to shine light onto the right path that you need to walk in. Then, like in Isaiah 52, our feet, instead of being swift to evil, will be described as beautiful. Our feet will be described as beautiful. Isaiah 52, verse 7. It says, How beautiful and delightful on the mountains are the feet of him who brings good news, who announces peace, who brings good news of good things, who announces salvation, who says to Zion, your God reigns. How beautiful on the mountain are the feet of him who brings good news. Not the feet of him who runs to evil. Not the feet of him who spreads gossip. Not the feet of him who spreads rumors. Not the feet of him who, who slanders others. Not the feet of him who chases after things and not God. Not the feet of him who, who is filled with a lot of temper tantrums and angry quarrels. Not the feet of him who runs into the bed of a man you are not married to, into the bed of a woman you are not married to, but the feet of him who brings good news. My prayer is that may we walk in step habitually with the Holy Spirit so that he can guide our feet away from evil, so that he can put in us a desire to study the word of God and use that word that we get into us to shine the light of God on the path, the path of righteousness, our feet away from evil and onto the path of righteousness. Amen. God bless you for listening. Do have a blessed day.